Hi, this is TJ and welcome back to my channel. Today in my video, I'm going to show you a quick tip that how we can use uh, the stock model for the simulation. Okay, and here you can see I have a very simple part. Uh, this one need to set up for for running the first. In, you can see the first setup and the second one, the second setup. Yeah, very easy part. In the first setup, uh, up one, I can do the facing and do some rough contour and I also do the finish outside and you can see I create some uh, stock model to see how the material will cut okay and the, the first stock model I created here is right at the start of the operation you can see um, you can put some information here like the the material side okay and here's uh, here is my uh, roughing tool pad, the rough facing, rough contour, and the rough uh, and some drilling um, and 3D operation. And and here, this stock model I call stock one is um, how the park look like after the rough operations. Okay. And come after that, I have some uh, finished tool pad, finished facing, the finished contour, and doing other operation. And this one you can see that the last uh, the last stock model in the in the first tool tool pad group and this gonna show uh, this show how the park uh, look like after the, the first setup or uh, after the op one you can see I use this stock model to see how the, the park look like after the first uh, operation the first setup I'm gonna Turn the park up, and you can see this is my my stock model. Okay, and after that, I want to move the, to the second setup, where I put the the park on the vise, and with some parallel to to align the park. And I want to use this this stock model for the simulation, so I can see uh, in in the second setup how the park will cut. So how how I do the how I can uh, define the stock. Okay, let's take a look on the stock setup here. In the master cam, you can see with the stock setup, um, you have uh, some option like you can select a rectangle, a rectangular, um, a rectangle for for the stock. You can select a cylinder or you can select a solid or uh, a mesh model, uh, and you can also select an external file for define the stock, but uh look like there no stock model option so you can you you are unable to select the stock model here for for the stock setup so you can you are unable to use for the simulation so if you want to use the stock model for a simulation you you can do like this just turn this off Okay, and you go to here, just right on the simulation option. So uh, you can see that uh, it's different with the stock setup here. You have uh, another option called stock model. So with this simulation option, you can check in this option, and you can select the stock model you want for the for the simulation. Okay, so I want to simulate the up to. I just select this stock model. It's called the up one finishes okay and you can also define the fixture for the simulation uh, I'm gonna select up to vice okay so it's gonna use this um, level for the fixture okay and now I can do the simulation with the stock model I created like this so very simple right uh, by using this option you can select the stock model for put it into the simulation and see how it's cut yeah it's very simple right okay so 
that's the tip for today for today very easy and yeah so uh, this is very useful especially for some part that need uh, to to do in uh, many setup many uh, yeah many uh, uh, operations so uh, just go to the verify option yeah the simulation option and check this option and yeah select the stock model you want for for the simulation yeah okay so that is the tip for today um i hope this can be useful in some cases uh and thanks for watching and goodbye for now